What's up developers and problem solvers? Rod Chicken and I wanted to bring you guys another video today. And today we're going to talk about can you become a SQL developer after the age of 30? And you, my, my answer is actually going to surprise you guys and I want you guys to stay tuned. So, can you? Quick answer, no you cannot. And the reason you cannot is because you are stubborn. You do not want to change. You are not willing to put the company first and really provide value in the way the company wants. You are stuck on your current skills, your set, skill sets, out of date skill sets. You're not willing to change and really help that company. So no, you're not becoming a SQL developer. But the good news is you're watching this video and you want to change. I'm assuming that. So if you're willing to, we're going to put you in a position to get a SQL job even after the age of 30, guys. So it's going to really kind of help you guys out, put things in perspective, and make you one of the lead candidates when you go to the job interview and really stand out among the other applicants, even if they are younger and um, you're going to really leverage your skills, your experience to do that. But before we get started, guys, I have some goodies in the description box. First of all, I have access to my seven step guide that's going to help you take your SQL career to the next level. Seven easy steps and it's free, guys, so go ahead and check that out. I also have access to our free community. Once you get the seven step guide, we're going to help you along the way throughout your career. Even if you are a junior developer, senior developer, or want to do some freelance work, we're going to help you guys with that. And also at the end, at if you already have signed up for our community and our free guide, we have premium courses below, guys. Check our premium courses out. It's really going to help you guys put things in perspective, really take your SQL career to the next level. So check those goodies out in the description box, guys, and support the channel. That being said, yes, it's possible so that you can get a job at the age of after the age of 30, guys, and I'm going to tell you how. First of all, no, don't be that old stubborn guy coming in the interview. This is especially for my older guys who watch the channel, uh, 40 plus, 50 plus, thinking you use this out of date technology, you're gonna take this out of date technology and apply it to this new company. Guys, let's get that out of your head. I have been on the other side of the hiring table. I know what the perception is for older developers. And if you communicate that, you're not gonna get the job. I'm letting you know that now. They'll never tell you because of your age, and it's probably it's not because of your age, it's your mentality. That's why you're not getting a job. Your age is irrelevant when it comes to if you can provide value. If you can provide value, they don't care if you're 200 years old. They're going to hire your own if you can be here another five years delivering uh, value to the team. That's the most important goal. If you're not willing to do that, you're not going to get the job. So let's get that out of the gate. That whole age thing, yeah, some bad companies may do it. I'm not going to uh, say uh, no company does it, but you probably don't even work, want to work for that company anyways. The average company wants somebody to come in and help solve their problems. They are swamped with problems. Anybody who can hit the ground running at a reasonable rate, don't cause problems, and really work willing to work with the team, it's going to be a value as long as you uh, come within the parameters, and I want to help you guys out with this. So, that being said, guys, do not be the old stubborn guy. So many times I go through interviews, the older developers come in, they tell their experience, they up here high and mighty, and they're wondering why they never get callbacks because it's all about what the company needs and what you can provide with the company, that exchange. They use a certain tech stack. They don't need you coming in trying to change everything to older models. Don't do that. That's the reason why you're not getting a job. See what they have, how they can improve it, how you can fill in the gaps with the team, and that's how you're gonna get the job, guys. So get do that. So first thing first, when you are an old developer, you have to look in the mirror and ask yourself, why do you why don't you have a job? You gotta do that first. Why do you why why you don't have a job? Look in the mirror. Yeah, during these times you may got laid off, but if you got skill and you really that developer, you're gonna get a job just like that. But you've been on the job market for, I don't know, two plus years, can't find a job. You really have to look in the mirror and admit to yourself why you don't have a job. You have the answers already, you're just not willing to admit that, hey, I have outdated skills. Hey, my communication skills are not on point. Hey, I'm asking for too much money based off of what I can provide for that company. You have to admit to these 
these things before you move forward. It's no way you're gonna get a job if you don't admit your baggage because this is the only way to move forward, guys. You have to admit your failures. You have to admit your downfalls. You have to know what value bring to the table and that's my next point guys you have to know what value bring to the table if you have outdated skills let's get that updated guys let's see what the job market is you're an older developer you should have a expect you should have an idea about the industry what the needs are what stacks they're using what's trending this is your benefit to the company if you're not willing to do this and then you're not going to get hired. You got to you got to leverage the um assets that you have at this age guys you've been around long enough to know hey 10 years out of school uh, industry was here they moved in this direction they're going to use this technology i have the answers i'm not i'm going to come to the team even if it's not a leadership role plug in the gaps work with the team be a good teammate and then over time as you actually see as you provide value build that report a leadership position will come up and you're going to be ready made for it you're not going to even have to ask for it they're going to give it to you because they know hey you got experience you've been around for a while you know the technology you know the team everybody like you here's the job here's a raise take us to the promised land that's what your job is a lot of you guys come into the interview with that same mentality haven't built a new rapport got outdated skills, not a good team member, and expect to get a leadership position and everybody bow down to you. That's not the way it works. You're wondering why you can't get the position. So I know I've been hard on you guys, and I'm, I'm trying to tear you down so I can build you back up. So you, you sat in the mirror, you admit it, hey, I do not have the skills. They're outdated. My social skills is crap. Um, I'm not a good leader and I'm outdated. I'm older. So what do I do? Okay, guys, it's time to move forward. You got to be willing to do the work. What work? Those gaps I was telling you about in the team, you have to be willing to learn and fill those gaps. It may not be ideal at first. It's never ideal at first. I started off doing EDI. I had no idea about EDI, but I used that opportunity to get inside the software development industry and get my first software development job. And look at me now. I'm able to really command the salary that I want, get a leadership position, and doing all the projects that I want to do. But it all starts with plugging the gaps first, guys. Plugging the gaps, building that rapport, working with the team working as a good team member moving things forward and obviously over time as doing this you build relationships you really put yourself in a position of strength you really put yourself in a position to get a job and get the next job the easy way to get a developer job guys is to already have a developer job and you get a better job because it answers so many of the questions that if you don't have a job the interviewer will want to do why do this uh, 30 year old developer don't have a job? Do they, are they socially awkward? Are they coming in trying to run stuff too much? Are they, are their skills outdated? These are questions 30 plus year old developers have coming into an interview, especially if you don't have a job guys, especially if you don't have a job. So admit to this, be willing to do the work and it's gonna really put you guys in a position to leverage your existing skills. What are those existing skills? Well, you have experience. You've been around a block a long time, so you know the trends, you know the business cycles, you know things about the industry. Now people are willing to ask your, um, get your feedback about this type of stuff if you willing to plug in the gaps. Come in and help the team and really do what it takes to move things forward, guys. I discussed all of this in my seven step guide below that's gonna help you identify your niche, identify what you need to do next and really put you in a position so that during the interview, you can communicate this, guys. This is how you get jobs. This is how you get not just the basic job where you just get, hey, I'm just gonna give you the minimum salary just to get you on and we'll see how it works you know you'll work out we'll pay you the minimum good versus they can't wait to get you on they're gonna pay you on the top of the chain top of the charts and then they're willing to in improve your career path as you provide more value you want to be on the top end guys you want to be the top tier developers in your industry this is where all the good jobs are this is where all the good projects are this is where people treat you good guys this is where you need to be so guys i made some notes i want to make sure i covered everything for you so first of all you got to admit to yourself um, your issues second you got to be willing to do the work 
Thirdly, it's never too late to become a developer. You already have experience. You have to fill in the gaps. You're going to win, guys. This is where you bring the value to the table. This is where you stand out from all the rest of the developer, guys. Once you identify the company's needs, you plug in the gaps, you solve the problems, this is gonna open up the doors for other positions for you, regardless of where you wanna be, either a, a standard developer, a lead developer, you can be an IT manager, Manager, or director, or VP, or wherever they, whatever you may be, you can do that once you do these basic things, guys. Like, subscribe to the content. Do you agree with me? If not, comment below. If so, comment below. Let's start a conversation, guys. What have your experience been as older developers? Let's get that dialogue started. If you haven't, go ahead and start sign up for my seven step guide, community access. And if you are already, Check out our premium courses so that you can support the channel and we can really kind of take things up. Well, not kind of, take things up for it to a notch and get that software development job that you guys been wanting to get and really showcase, give me your testimonials so that I can actually help other people. Like, subscribe to the content. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.